So this next type of problem is going to be our weak acid problem. And we know that because it's asking us to determine the pH and hydronium concentration of a benzoic acid solution. And we know it's not one of our six strong acids, so it has to be a weak acid. So remember, weak acid, we're going to, any weak kind of problem, we're going to need an ice table or the short kit formula, and we have to use our Ka value given right here. Here's the general equation for the benzoic acid um, dissociation. So here we go. So we have to find pH. Remember, pH is still, no matter weak or strong, negative log of the hydronium concentration. So let's start by finding the hydronium concentration. Remember, we want equilibrium pressures. So we have two options, but they all stem from one, right? So we have the ice method or the shortcut. Well, I'm just going to set up the ice table really quickly in case some of you have forgotten about it. But we're just going to fill it in real quick, right? Our initial, we don't ever put water because it's a liquid, zero and zero. And then reactants are always a negative X. These are all in one stoichiometric conversion, so we don't have to do coefficients. So our E is what we're worried about right now. And remember, our expression for K is going to be concentration of hydronium and its conjugate base over the weak acid. So that all sums down to x times x over x minus or 0 0.100 minus x the denominator. And remember, we're going to use our assumption and cross this guy off because our k is small and this is pretty big. So when we solve for that, our ka right, is going to be what? 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5. So when we solve for that, our x value is, what joke? I got roughly... Two point five times ten to the negative three molar. Now remember, we could have also done the shortcut method, and the shortcut method would have simply just been x will equal concentration times Ka and the square root of that. So it would have just been square root of six point five times point one. The math is going to turn out to be exactly the same, but either way we do it, we're going to have to check our assumption with the five percent rule. And the 5% rule is going to be um, with, in regards to 2.5 over our initial concentration. Remember, it's what you had to assume off of. So we were assuming x was small on a 0.11. Oh yeah, I didn't write this. Right? So we assumed that. We need to check that x is actually... 5% or less than 0.1. And so if we keep going with the math, we get here, it's roughly 2.5%, which is well within less than 5%. So we're good to go, and our assumption is valid. So we have a valid assumption. Now with this x value, remember what does it represent? Concentration of hydronium. So that is our concentration of hydronium, right? 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3. Now, pH this is going to be negative log of hydronium. So, negative log of So, our pH comes out to be roughly 2.6. Remember, um, to where the negative sign is outside the log, so get your answer and then make it a negative number or flip the sign. So that's how we're going to do the weak acid. Ka, shortcut method, check the assumption, and solve for pH.